federally funded competitive grant program designed to increase the number of students who are prepared to enter and succeed in post-secondary education and whereas Spirit provided seven-year grants to states or partnerships to deliver support and resources to students and families to fulfill their dreams of attaining a post-secondary education and whereas Spirit is built around public-private partnerships and listing the formidable resources of government, business, and community groups to support students as they prepare to enter and success in college. And whereas MHS Sierra serves 370 students in the class of 2020, and whereas the week of September 17, 2018 has been declared as Sierra Week. Secondary success, whether you go to the military, whether you go to vocational school, whether you go to a community college, whether you go to a four-year college, we want you to be positioned as absolutely well as you can be to be successful in that arena. And so within a couple of weeks, there'll be a re-emphasis of what we call Bobcat Ready, that this is why it and your teachers have likely talked to you about. And what that really does is kind of provide you a roadmap for these are the types of things that you need to do to be in college, career and life ready once you leave high school. So for some, it's taking the most rigorous academic courses that you can. For some, it's just making sure you have a sound foundation and taking four years of English, science, and math, as well as uh, social studies, a good foundation there. For many of you, it's what are you doing in addition to that? Are you making sure that you're here on a regular basis? Because if you don't attend school and you don't attend work, you're not going to be working for very long. Um, we want to build in work experiences. So for those of you that are holding down part-time jobs, that's a very valuable thing towards your readiness beyond high school. We want to look at giving you some credit for that. Before you, and we'll do great things for students after you're done with your education, that by participating in that program, you end up with careers that make you happy and are legal. Is, is find that goal that you can work toward with them because the, because of my goal I was really involved in high school and then continue that on the college so I encourage you to um, be really involved and take dual credit classes participate in sports participate in activities um, but no matter if you have that exact career path or not you can set a goal and work toward it and maybe that goal is as simple as you want to learn something new every day or you want to be the first in your family to graduate from college. Um, maybe you want to be the president of the United States. It doesn't matter, but whatever that goal is, you can work toward it. Because I get to work with college students every single day, and I'm telling you, that's lots of fun. It's so awesome to be able to see students exploring what they want to do and pursuing their life's dreams, and that is just such a fabulous job for me. Um, so I set a goal that I wanted to work at Emerson, um, and so I kind of network and got myself in. I started out as a receptionist, get my foot in the door, um, people knew who I you know, people met me, knew my, uh, my engineering background. I then moved on to a uh, process engineer position, and from there I'm now an order entry engineer. So it's not construction engineering, um, but my four year degrees. Um, degree and my experience from my other jobs help me get to where I am. And also being persistent and really having those goals set up for yourself. I soon didn't realize that I needed to make a change and I uh, wanted to act at that moment. I didn't want to wait any longer. And I knew that I had to make a change. And I got my stuff together. I was doing better. I was getting good grades in my last two years of the high school. I had my mentors, uh, Gary Mertens, um, Hernandez, and some other teachers that I just can't remember right now, I'm pretty nervous. But uh, those two years, my last two years of high school were better. And well, I actually thought of doing CAD, computer aid designing. I had my classes uh, ready to start in BMAC and Newman. But I then realized that welding was for me. I changed all my classes and went to MCC. And I did that for a year and got that done with. But I, I also want to say that 
I graduated high school with a 1.8 GPA, 1.8, 1.9, somewhere around there. And uh, I graduated college with a 3.9.